In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Seats.Ero so you can find more reward seats in a matter of seconds. Seats.Ero is an absolute game changer because it allows you to scan all of the airline loyalty programs in a matter of seconds and gives it to you in a very nice concise way so you can search through that data and find the reward seats that you want. Now in today's video, I'm gonna take you through how to find first class reward availability, business class reward availability, how to set up alerts, and also some of my favorite features. Now before I get into it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps out the channel. With that in mind, let's get straight into the video. The first thing I wanna mention is that Seats.Ero is free. So they have a paid version, which is 10 US dollars every single month, or they have a free version as well, which is just the light plan. The difference between the two is that with the free version, you can only scan reward availability for up to two months in advance. When you have the paid version, you can scan up to a whole year in advance, which is really, really helpful. With the free version, there's also a few filter options that I'm not included. I will go through them with you in a second. And the other key difference is the ability to set up reward alerts. Now I am going to show you how you can set up a reward alert in just a second, but a reward alert will basically notify you via email or phone when a reward seat that you're after has become available. You won't get that when you just have the free option. Me personally, I find a huge amount of value in this tool, so I have the paid version. If you would like to sign up, check out my affiliate link in the video description. So those are the difference between the free and the paid version. So let's go into the tour. This is the Seats.Ero homepage here. You can see you've got a search bar here and you've got an explore bar here as well. Now something really cool with the Seats.Ero website is that if I click on explore here, you can see just how many frequent flyer programs you can actually search with. The key ones that us Australians are going to be using it for are going to be the Qantas frequent flyer website and the Velocity frequent flyer website. But if you have watched some of my other videos, you know that I'm a huge advocate of earning membership points that you can transfer to lots of different airlines. A specific example of that would be if you have Amex Platinum points, you can actually scan through other airline loyalty programs here as well. The key ones here would be Qatar Airways, Etihad, Singapore Airlines, and also Emirates. I'm not gonna to go too in depth on those things. I'll just talk about the basics with Qantas and Velocity right now. So if I click on Qantas here, you can see that it's scanning the entire Qantas frequent flyer websites. It's looking for flights from Oceania, which is gonna be like Australia, New Zealand, and it's looking for flights going anywhere in the world. You can see here this data has loaded and I've got a ton of flights. Now we're not gonna go through 686 pages, but what's really useful is the filters that Seats.Aero give us. These filters are listed at the top here. This is searching for flights in the next two months. This is what you would have if you have the free version, but if you have the pro version, you can search for a whole year. You can then change the departing cities. So say for example, I just wanted to look for flights leaving from Sydney, and then you can change the arrival cities as well. If you're after a specific route, you would then put that in this area. For me personally, if I am after a specific route, I will use the search tool, which I will cover later. But if you're just mucking around, you can do that on the explore page too. Now with airlines here, these are just going to show you the Qantas frequent flyer partners anyway, so I would just leave that blanked. But if you were after a specific airline carrier, you can go ahead and choose them here. The other filters here are not so important, but you can do direct flights here if you do have the pro version. Now once this data has loaded, you can filter through by business class, which if I click on business, it's searching all of the business class flights and they're appearing first. And that's gonna be ranked by the least amount of points through to the most amount of points. Now for this example, I will show you if I click on first, it's showing me all the first class availability. Now something really useful is that I can actually search this first class availability ranked by date as well. So if I click on first and I hold down shift and then click on date, it's now filtering these options through via first class availability first and then putting them in order from earliest to latest. See here that I've just scanned the entire Qantas website for the next two months, departing from Sydney, and I've got all of the first class availability here. I would then go ahead and change the amount of entries per page just so I'm not scanning through so many pages. 
and then scroll down and the flights that we're looking for are these green bubbled flights. These flights are indicating direct flights. Most of the time you wanna to stick to these green bubbled flights because once you start going into the blue bubbled flights, these flights all have connections. But you can see by using this tool, I now have all first class available flights on the Qantas Frequent Flyer website and I've accessed all that data in a matter of seconds. If I was on the Qantas Frequent Flyer website and I searched manually Sydney to Christchurch, Sydney to Los Angeles, Sydney to Dubai, that would take me a few minutes. We have greatly saved time just by using this tool. Now to be honest, I don't really use the explore feature too much. It's more of a shotgun approach. When I am looking for reward seats, I usually have a specific route in mind. And when I have a specific route in mind, I always use the search tool. Now the really good thing with using the seats.aero search tool here is that I can add 180 days from the date that I choose. So if I select a date about six months away and I have 180 days ticked here, that is then going to show me a whole calendar year of availability. If I click on advanced filters, I can then sift through only direct flights, minimum amount of seats, and I can exclude any carriers as well. I most of the time just leave all that blank and I just click on search. Now from here, once this data is loaded, same as the previous example, click on business, hold down shift, and then click on date. I now have all business class availability on the Qantas website filtered through in date order. Now you can see there's not too many options here. And one of my favorite things about the seats.aero tool is that I can actually search multiple different routes at once in a very efficient way. Say for this example, if Sydney doesn't have any availability to Los Angeles, I might wanna add in Melbourne and Brisbane, and I might be open to flying into San Francisco as well. So if we typically did that on the Qantas Frequent Flyer website, that whole process searching multiple different routes across multiple different dates is going to take us hours. But if we use seats.aero, we can do that in a matter of seconds. Now, when there is low availability for the flights that you want and you wanna get a little bit more creative by adding in nearby cities, the best way we go about that is if we click on multi-city code, this is now gonna give us some shortcuts to include nearby cities for the routes that we want. Now, the ones that we will use for this specific example will be AUL, which covers Australia's large airports, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide. And the other one that we are going to want is going to be USA, which is gonna cover all of United States large airports. You can see here that it's covering all of the large airports in the United States, which is gonna be very helpful for us. So if I go back to the search here, and instead of Sydney, I put in AUL, and then instead of Los Angeles, I put in USA, and then I do my search. Once this data has loaded here, same as before, click on business, hold down shift, click on date. Now I have a few more flights that were previously listed there. I've got a flight to San Francisco, I've got a Melbourne flight, I've got a Brisbane flight, a, another Melbourne flight. Still, again, there's not too many business class flights on the Qantas website, but that is showing you all of the availability that is currently on the Qantas website. Now, I do talk about it in just about every single video I post on YouTube, and that is the importance of not exclusively earning Qantas points. If you've been following my advice for a little while now, Hopefully you've got access to the Velocity Frequent Flyer program as well. And if you do, we can click on programs, scroll down and tick on Velocity. Now this data has loaded, you can see just how many more reward seats we have available. We've pretty much doubled our reward seat availability just by including Velocity. And something really cool about using Velocity reward availability is that if I hover over it, it's going to tell me how many reward seats are available. You don't get that with Qantas. If I hover over a Qantas flight, it doesn't show you how many reward seats are available on each flight. Now, most of the other airlines do have this reward seat tracker where it tells you how many reward seats on each flight you get. Just for some reason, Qantas don't wanna provide that information. So say for an example, we find a flight using this data that we like and we wanna book it. What we would do is we are gonna get a little preview here. If I just hover over that flight, it's gonna tell me roughly what that flight is about, how many points we need, what the taxes are, how many seats we have, and what airline it is. UA is United Airline. I can get a more expansive look if I click on the info icon 
then tick on business and it's gonna give me some more details here. Now, if I like that flight, I would just go to the Velocity Frequent Flyer program and book it directly just by inserting that data. All you would have to do is type in the date and the route that appears here directly into the airline's loyalty program and that flight should pop up. Now say we scanned multiple different routes and multiple different airline loyalty programs and still no luck, what would we do then? We can then go to the alert section. When we create an alert here, we're going to get notified when our reward seats eventually do pop up. Say for example, there are no reward seats right now, but maybe we're not flying for about a year's time. And that from some time within the next year, that reward seat will hopefully pop up. This is what you would use to create an alert. So then when seats.arrow do find that reward seat, they'll email you or SMS you to tell you, and then you can go ahead and book that. To set that up, just click on create alert, make sure your email is correct, put in your mileage program. So for this example, I'm just gonna stick to Qantas. Departing airports, again, use fairly broad stuff. If you are desperate for reward seats, put in AUL, and we're gonna put in USA for our previous example. If we're after a specific date, I can put that in, but it would be much better and gonna give you better results if you use a date range. Then the final step here would just be choosing your cabin availability and then you can create that alert. And that's it, it's a very simple process setting up an alert using seats.ero. I hope this video has been helpful to you and helped you understand how you can use seats.ero to find more reward seats. Remember, if you do like these sort of videos, to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want some more specific help and wanna learn my exact strategy for earning points and redeeming them, check out the link in the description. Other than that, I will see you in the next video.